Hello everyone, this is Anton, and today we have a new Obsidian release inside our build 1.3. There's a few things in this that I want to actually show. One is going to be the new PDF viewer. The other one is related to the bookmarks feature and also the auto convert HTML feature that's in here now. Let's go into the uh, block bookmarking. Now you can actually select a block of text and bookmark that there. You can give it a specific name here or you can keep the default and also put it in a particular bookmark group if you want. You can leave all these defaults. You will not be able to change the path. A block number is created here by default. Just hit save, go into the bookmarks. We can see that this, once you click that bookmark link, it will highlight the selection and open up the note if you are not in it. Now, just in case you do delete or somehow the ID gets deleted in there, this bookmark does not work anymore. If you have not changed the name, you can you will see the default ID where you can just put that back in. But if not, you can edit, come into this path section here, and then you can Go ahead and take the ID, put that into the file. And now when you click that link, because you've added the ID back, it's never lost. It's in there until you delete this actual bookmark itself. It will work again. Next, let's take a look at the PDF viewer. So now we have a new PDF viewer here. And we can see that's a little bit minimalist than the previous one. Let me go ahead and show the old one side by side with the new. We have the old here and then we have the new on the right. We can see here on the, the old one, we get way more information than we do on this new version of the PDF viewer. So I myself would rather have the different elements showing up here where I can easily click the aspect ratio here, this button here that kind of changes. They put this in a drop down. If we come into here where you can change the fit to width or fit to height that has changed there. Um, so it is an extra step where you drop down and then select it. And you do not have the rotate button like you would see here. And the other thing about this here is if you go ahead and you scale or zoom your PDF within the, the viewer, it doesn't tell you immediately where or what zoom level you are at. So I think this is a little bit lacking. That information would be nice to have here to see what zoom level it is at. And also, I would prefer to have the name of the PDF here, even though it does show up in the name. So if we were to say click in the file and go to the name here, get the, the, the link reference, it does show the name here, but it would be nice to not have to do that to where it would just show right here in the preview. And the last thing on the list here, which I think is really nice, is the support of HTML tables. So if you go to a web page, let's go to this web page here, and I want to copy and paste the table from here. If we do it on the latest version, I'll go ahead and show this example. We can see that it pasted in Markdown here. And if we go ahead and get out of the Markdown for the table here, we can see that the live preview shows it as a table. And you can just click on here you know, if you want to change things within the table. So this Insider Build 1.3 release has a few things that I'm liking. Uh, one thing on the PDF viewer that I do not like very well, hopefully, um, potentially that, that might change. Obsidian has come a long way. This is a wonderful app, great, great application for doing all kinds of things in here. 
and the developers are doing a great job at making updates to this application. Okay, so that is it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.